Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's gonna be reviewing a Toyota Tundra TRD Off-Road with the limited package. Before we get into this video, or actually it's rather a limited with the TRD Off-Road package. Anyways, link to Toyota Murray's website in the description down below. They're the ones that provided me with this truck. Link to my carbine guide in the description down below as well. Let's get into the video. Under the hood, we have a twin turbo 3.4 liter V6 that goes through a 10 speed automatic transmission. It's also paired to a hybrid system. Fuel economy is 19 around town and then 22 in the highway with power outputs being 437 horsepower and then 583 pound feet of torque. Now, before we move forward with this review, I do want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So starting with the hood here, you can see iForce Max there on the badges side of things. But yeah, really cool like muscular design, how it's raised on either side. And then you've got the limited lights here, and then I like how that kind of pops down below. The whole grill's been blacked out, including the Toyota logo. You've got fog lights here at the bottom as well. And so putting it all together, the contrast between the black and the silver on this particular truck, I think looks sharp. Now around the side here, our tire wheel setup is 265, 60, 20 in the front and over in the rear. And you can see with the wheels blacked out has the TRD logo there in the center and then we've got bilstein shocks with this trd off-road package got these big chunky fender flares here you got the tundra badge on the side you can see the mirror cap is all blacked out trd off-road there on the side of the sticker and then you can see the rear shock bilstein coil suspension in the back and then here's your full side view where you can see the stance with the truck front to back it actually looks really sharp now take a look at the key fob we have our lock and unlock function we got the tailgate drop down with the toyota logo there and then popping into the bed, you guys can see this one has the bed liner from the factory. Got an outlet here in the bed as well. But yeah, plenty of space in the back. I like how it says Tundra there. Now with the tailgate, um, it doesn't automatically raise up or anything. You do have to pick it up yourself. It's got a little bit of weight to it, but it's not heavy. Got the Tundra logo there. And then you can see with the three taillight design, parking sensors at the bottom. And then this one has the cool kick step here as well. And then you can see the exhaust tip chilling out. But putting it all together, let me guys think about the style here with this TRD off-road. And then popping inside, you can see soft touch down below, and then you got tons of storage here. And then this has the cool seats with the camo print kind of type design in the center. And then you've got your under seat, not really storage area. I mean, you could put stuff on top of this, um, but because the battery, you don't have like a little cubby there. Leg room in the back, the Tundra is pretty solid. Got a little storage pocket, some cup holders. Got some USB ports and all of that. We also have a cup holder armrest in the back. If I can dig that out. <laughs> and then headroom, it's good. Now take a look at the front door panel again, soft touch here and down below. Got all of our window controls, mirror adjustments. The mirrors do power fold in. You've got your memory seat function, blind spot monitoring for the mirrors. And then we have 1,345 pounds of payload. And then here are the front seats. Again, look at that cool design all down the center. All of our adjustments on the side. You get these fancy pedals with this package. Have your heated steering wheel here, that's for the gas cap release. And then there's actually soft touch in the dash. Steering wheel is manually adjustable. Now take a look at the steering wheel. You can see we've got the perforated trim on either side and then I like this trim as well. Practical controls the front, like for your adaptive cruise control, lane keep assist, volume, voice command controls as well. And then you can see the stocks there on the back. Full digital gauge cluster here in the center, and I like how it says iForce Max. Uh, shows you information on the truck itself uh, there on the side, pretty standard stuff. And then this is where you can see the drive modes too. So we have a few on road modes, and then there's a bunch of off road modes with this as well because it's a TRD off road, so it has multi terrain select. 360 camera system with this truck, I mean, you can see out of every single angle really good resolution with it as well and i like i have the offered camera view too um but anyways as for the rest of the infotainment system quick response time for the most part just take a second for some of those pages to load up it looks like and then below it you actually get physical buttons for like the volume for example heated and ventilated seats dual zone climate that's pop on the camera you can see stability control rear locking differential wireless phone charging pad then you got like auto hold and parking brake i like this with the trd shifter just a traditional two-speed transfer case. We've got our drive mode select here with our towhaul mode select, multi-terrain select, and crawl control if it'll focus on it. There you go, camera. And then this has just the storage on the top. You got the little window, which is pretty cool. And then some USBs there, coin holder, I can't talk. 
Soft touch on the dash, and then look at that, it goes across. Yeah, pretty normal. Glove box, and then we do have the whole window goes down. Uh, no center for anything in this one. So here's our window sticker for this particular Tundra. You guys can see all of the standard equipment here. There's your base MSRP, 60,625. And then you can see the TOD offered package of 3,500 bucks uh, as well, limited power package. Cool. Anyways, 67,926 is the total MSRP. Toyota's always very specific with their prices. Let's see how it drives. Looks like by visibility before you set off. Here's visibility over the hood. Both the mirrors, still blind spot ring. Throw the rest of the rear. And TRD off-road limited away. So <laughs> I was just going to use this truck for a comparison video today. And then I quickly checked my channel and I realized I haven't posted a single limited review, like a, you know, Tundra limited review, just on like the limited package itself for 24. And I don't think I've posted a TRD offered package either. Cause I looked and I had a platinum, I had a, a 1794 edition, TRD Pro, SR5. I had lifted Tundras for goodness sakes, but not this. And I think this is like the quintessential Tundra package, right? Loaded up luxury but then also some off-road capability. So first off, <laughs> iForce Max, it's got some power. So I've said this before and the Toyota executives aren't exactly fond of me saying this, but I can't really tell a difference with the acceleration with this versus the regular twin turbo V6. Like this feels pretty much just as quick. And it doesn't feel any quicker, if that makes sense. Which is not bad, because the Toyota's V6 feels great. This feels like it might have a little bit more low-end grunt, like when just partial throttle. But yeah, once you're up and moving, I don't know, it doesn't feel too different. So, I know, I think that's... I think that's something. What I will say about the TRD off-road is the damping on it, it's pretty good with these Bilstein shocks. It's nice, it's a nice drive. Uh, the new Tundra with the coil suspension in the back end, it rides well. So yeah, this truck just drives well. It's cool. So I guess a big part of this uh, review would be, you know, should you go for this iForce Max? Should you pay the extra money to get this or should you just get the standard powertrain? And I'd say that I think for most people, the standard's gonna be fine. And something else to consider is this gets barely better fuel economy. And so with the standard powertrain, less complexity for slightly worse fuel economy, less money. So I, I don't know, I think that for most people, the standard powertrain, makes sense yeah this truck just drives well though i like i like how the limited drives and the seats so let's talk about some of the stuff seats are comfortable with this i love the three seat i mean look how good this camera system is it's i showed it in the walk around but like the fact you can switch to the off-road mode too is cool and the screen's really responsive so it just makes driving this truck really easy and i think this truck was parked in kind of a tight space if i remember it was up yeah it was by this other silver one so i guess we'll use the camera system here so you guys will be able to kind of see and this truck's easy pretty easy to drive too it's a full-size pickup truck so i mean if you're not used to driving a vehicle this big there is a little bit of a learning curve to it yeah see look boom pops on the front camera i mean again like you think prior to cameras again once you get used to the dimensions of your vehicle you'd be able to just pull into this space no problem but for a vehicle that you aren't familiar with the dimensions Right, you gotta take it slow, take time, but this, it makes it pretty, yeah, it makes it pretty simple. So let me know guys think about the TRD Off-Road Limited, but I think for most people, this with the standard powertrain, you know, mid $60,000 price tag pickup truck, I think it has all the features that people need. It's got the off-road capability that most people need and it looks cool. 